Hi everyone, it's Brandy from Artisan Bee Boutique. I hope you all had a great Thanksgiving. Um, I did, I got to see my kids and, and family and it's just it just was a really nice week. Um, everybody's gone home now and I've got my Christmas tree up and I'm still making some Christmas journals. Um, and I wanted to come on today and just share this new one with you. Uh, this one is a uh, made from a Christmas greeting card that I turned into a journal. And I saw a video on uh, YouTube, a tutorial on how to do this, and I just kind of took it and and added my own touches to it and, and that sort of thing. So I made it my own and it's it came out really cute. I like how it, uh, how it turned out and I wanted this one to be a little bit more um, of a Christian themed or I guess religious uh, style journal as in just the you know traditional Santa Claus and gifts and things like that so this one is entitled oh come let us adore him Christ the Lord and obviously that's just the the greeting card face and I just thought it was beautiful and I didn't want to really add anything to that um, this was just from a box of Christmas cards that I actually bought a couple years ago and I had used to mail out so these were just some leftovers that I had um, I did a nice uh, just large Christmas ribbon tie closure on it um, I take the wire out of these because I like the, the softness. I like to make them a little bit softer because they already are pretty, I guess, pliable would be the word for it. Um, but as you can see, it's gold. It's like a gold trim and it's got some pretty trees and, and details on it there. So it's a nice long length of ribbon that you can wrap around and make a nice bow out of. And even without the wires, you can see it's still it's still very uh, moldable is a good word, I guess. So that's what it looks like without the ribbon. And again, it was just a uh, basic uh, Christmas card. The envelope is also used inside the journal, which you'll see. This one measures seven long by five wide. I'll show you around the outside a little bit. The tutorial that I watched, I'll have to link that underneath for you. Um, hopefully I'll remember to do that. The tutorial that I watched um, also showed me how to make a little loop for her on the side uh, when I did the binding so that I could add a little tassel to it. So this is what it looks like from the different angles before we open it up and look at the inside. Sewn binding and you can see here the little tassel and how it's attached. And it's just like an extra little loop here in the spine. And so that's removable. And with the tassel, I just did some different ribbons, different color ribbons, yarn, twine, um, baker's twine. And then there's some little beads on there and some jingle bells and a little bulb pin with a candy cane charm on it. And then the measure's just about the length of the journal, so about seven inches long. And again, re removable, so that's nice, so you don't have to keep it on there when you're writing in your journal. And the card had a nice texture to it. It's shiny, but it's got like a, like a woven texture almost, I guess. I don't know, really know how to describe that, but it, I don't know if you can see it. The light's kind of reflecting off of it, but. And then the back has a little pocket with a couple of tags in it for journaling. Just some blank tags there. And so let's take a look inside. So on the front cover, this was the inside of the card. I just added some pattern scrapbooking paper. This was a piece of another greeting card that I cut off and made a belly band for your tags. And then the tags, are just some off cuts. This is just a nice little piece of, that you can use, a piece of um, cardstock that you can use in the journal somewhere. And all of these are cut from cardstock, um, scrapbook paper. Um, this one is an double-sided and you can open it so you have uh, all kinds of space inside to write. And those just tuck neatly in the, inside the front cover there. And then this was a piece of the envelope. The envelope was large, um, obviously enough to fit the, the card inside. So what I did was I kind of just cut it down and altered it a little bit, but I wanted to have that be utilized in the journal as well. So I just turned it into a little page with a little um, Tim Holtz die cut there. And I've got the first page, the um, um, 
tracing paper that I like to put that just kind of begins the journal see through and I like that that effect and then this is really this journal I really left this one quite open for you to be able to make it your own and just add your own touches to it your own writing lots of um, the scrapbook paper so all of this stuff is like attached with clips so you can pull it out um, so there's some scrap papers in here that you can use to decorate with and they're just clipped into your your scrapbook pages so you can put your your photos on there and this tag is another one of those opening tags so it just I just draped it over both sides so there's lots of blank pages in here for you to write on to put photos on memorabilia just to add your own touches to this is a vintage um, 1950s children's book page that I added Lots of writing paper, lots of pretty scrapbook paper. Some coffee dyed paper. I like to include just all different types of writing pages in the journals for you so that you have just a nice variety to write on. There's some vintage um, hymnal page there, some more scrap paper. And again, these are all clipped in so you can move them around as you wish, make it your own. Uh, lined on one side and graph on the other. Some more coffee dyed paper in the center. And basically just the second half of the folded papers that you're looking at now so as you can see plenty plenty of journaling space plenty of places for you to add your own um, elements and touches your own creativity you can add tuck spots and pockets and belly bands and all kinds of fun stuff and this is the other part of that that vintage book page there That pencil mark was in the book um, when I got it. So, you know, I just leave the, the pages as, as they are from the children that use that book, the marks that come with it. Pre-loved. This is another foldable, foldable tag that you can add to your, um, that you can add your writing on the inside. And again, just odds and ends, um, off cuts for you to play with in the journal, and you can just keep adding your own things to it. And this is the other half of the envelope page, or the envelope page that I made, and I made that into a pocket so that you can tuck things inside there. There's a little light inking uh, throughout the journal, mostly on the covers and the pocket um, with some vintage, I think it's vintage photo, um, just to make it stand out a little bit. And there's a nice little photo spot there and then this is the back cover inside of the back cover that I made a double pocket there and that was the sentiment on the the original card there and then this was a sentiment from the other card that I cut apart um, so that just kind of formed a double pocket and that was the picture on that card right there so that actually fits nicely in inside there and obviously you can move these around or add your own as you wish that one's a nice um, opening one that you can write in. And that's the last page. And again, the pocket on the back. And that's it. That's our cute little altered Christmas card journal. And this one will be available uh, in my Macari shop soon. I've already taken the pictures and it should be available by the end of the day today. Um, I will link it below once I get once I have it listed so that you can just click on it and find it nice and easy. Um, the link to my shop is also um, on my channel. So anytime you just want to take a look around and see what else I've got in there, um, I would love for you to do that. And I hope you liked this video today. I hope you liked just taking a look at this with me. And um, I just thank you for coming by and spending your time with me. I thank you for all to all my um, subscribers and especially new ones. I've gotten a lot of new ones lately. And I just thank you so much for taking the time and for subscribing. And I've got, I'm going to have a lot of new, 
uh, new fun stuff coming. And I'm just going to keep working through Christmas to bring you new and exciting little pretties. Um, again, I will find, I will try to remember to find the, the video, uh, the tutorial that I watched to make these and link it um, below as well so that you can see how to do this. I really thought this was a neat idea is that little loop there for the, um, the tassel. And I love that it's removable because, you know, with the soft cover journal, sometimes it's kind of harder to add a tassel to it. But learning that made it, you know, a way for me to, you know, now I have a way to attach a tassel to it without it being, you know, something that you can't take off. So I like to be able to, to remove things if you just want to be able to lay your journal flat for writing. And um, yeah, so this makes a nice little finishing touch here. You just tie it up like a neat little package and it'll look beautiful on your end table or your mantle um, to add to your Christmas decor this Christmas and make a great gift for somebody. Just a fun little unexpected gift and something that's usable um, and bring joy to somebody. Uh, but again, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your time and for subscribing and uh, uh, ring the bell if you want to be notified of, you know, my upcoming videos when I, when I post something new. This can definitely be neater. It was neater when I first did it. But anyway, you get the idea. That's, um, that's the finished product. So this will be available again for purchase in my Macari shop. I will link it below as soon as I have it live, the listing live. And I will try to remember to link the tutorial that I found to make the, the um, Christmas card or the greeting card journals. Super easy and just a super fun process. And you can just take that and these tutorials um, and just run with it. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this. Give it a thumbs up if you did. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. I really appreciate each and every one of you. And again, I hope you had a wonderful Thanksgiving and happy holidays. I'll talk to you soon in my next video. Bye now.